Lovecraftian horror, as a genre, was named after American author Howard Phillips Lovecraft, who was born in Providence, Rhode Island on August 20th, 1890. <laughs> yeah, 1980. He was born in 1980. <laughs> Time traveling Lovecraft! <laughs> Cthulhu is a massive humanoid, squid-faced, and dragon-like creature that slumbers in the lost underwater city- Underswater. <laughs> underswater! The blue-robed ones worship Dagon, the red-robed ones worship Nyarlathotep, and the red- The red- <laughs> I just said the red-robed ones worship Nyarlathotep! And now I can't even say Nyarlathotep! What the hell?! Hester the Unspeakable, also known as the King in Yellow, is not a creation of Lovecraft's. Actually, he was thought up by Robert W. Chambers, who used him much more as a symbol of decay and temptation, more like a Satan figure, and his, uh... <laughs> Alright, trying this again, because apparently I cannot talk about Hester today. The King in Yellow is intricately... <laughs> intricately, phantom. The King in Yellow is intricate... Intricately, intricately. <laughs> Lovecraftian horror, also sometimes called weird fiction, is a gender genre. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for drinking coffee. <laughs> the curse of Hester. Okay. For example, did you know that the remake of The Thing has a lot in the com has a lot in the common. <laughs> A lot in the common! I cannot speak today! Nirala Hotep is the Cthulhu mythos god of chaos and is fact and referred to. is in fact and referred to. <laughs> I cannot crawl in chaos today! He really, really likes humans, finding them easy to min easy to boo 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 boo. I cannot talk! I cannot talk! I cannot words! Yigs Angel. Angel. <laughs> he eggs angel in the arms of the angels. Fly away from here. They first appear in in the winter. <laughs> yeah, Miko hibernate in the winter. They they migrate in the winter. Didn't you know that? As with all humans, however, Lovecraft. <laughs> Lovecraft. <laughs> As with all humans, however, Lovecraft was a flawed man. He was quite racist, anti-Semitic, and xenophobic, and remained so and towards the latter end of his life latter end. What? <laughs> what am I saying? The curse of Hester is strong with this one. As with all humans, however, Lovecraft was a flawed man. He was quite racist, anti-Semitic, and xenophobic, and remained sore. Remains. I cannot talk today, my god! As with all humans, however, Lovecraft was a flawed man. He was quite racist, anti-Semitic, and xenophobic, and remained sore. Remained so, so, Phantom, so, remained so. My goodness gravy, I can't talk today. 